1957, the Harley Davidson Sportster was introduced. It is now 2022 and Harley Davidson has decided to part ways with its rich history with the uh, Sportster, its longevity, its reliability and history at that. You're welcome back to another video guys. So yes, the news is true. This is not a maybe this is it. These are facts. So Harley Davidson has now decided to just cut away the Sportster. They're just that's it. No more Sportsters after 2022. That's they're gone. If you are in the market and you are looking for a brand new Sportster, you need to go buy yourself one right now because there's not that many left and they're I'm pretty sure they're going to be going away pretty fast. But with that being said, there's tons and hundreds and maybe thousands of them used ones out there in the used market, so they're not that hard to find. Although, I would love to have a 1978 black and gold. Got my Harley Davidson mug right here. Got my King of the Baggers hat right here. So let's just talk about the huge news. I got some huge news. I got some huge news! I think I spoke about this last year in my uh, predictions for 2022. Talking about the Sportster and the other models that Harley Davidson was either going to ax out or bring into the market. Um, and I think I spoke about the Sportster. I mentioned that the Sportster had one year left in them. And I was right. I was right because we just recently found out that that's it. They're, they're axing it out. Now, reasons why are, are not 100% clear. I can definitely give my opinion on why I think uh, this is happening. And A, it's not just Harley Davidson, it's, it's emission standards, it's the government cracking down on all automobile industries, motorcycle industries, just, just everything that has a combustible engine. Um, emission standards are like killing the heart and soul of what an automobile or motorcycle is, man. Like, they're just trying to electrify everything and hey, I am for having clean air and I, you know, beautiful nature, but damn, the, the, the rate that everything is happening, it's, it's, it's so crazy, it's, it's just, let's just get rid of everything, 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 everything. So, part of the reason is because emission standards, so yes, the Evolution engine that's in the Sportster has been around for a long time, and it's just, it, it's not to emission standards. It just, it doesn't meet the standards, um, and yeah, that that's it, it's, yeah. Um, if you want a secondary option for a Sportster, you have the all brand new, Nightster, which has the brand new Harley Davidson Revolution engine in it, uh, liquid cooled. So no, it's not air cooled. It's not your typical V twin air cooled engine. It's a liquid cool engine. It's gonna sound different. It's gonna give you a lot more power. But it's is it the classic Harley Davidson sound and feel? No, it's not. Now one would argue and say yes, the Sportster's Harley Davidson bread and butter, and it realistically no, it's not. The Harley Davidson gets most of its big money from these big bikes right here, the baggers, and not even the baggers, but just their merchandise, their clothing. That's where they make most of their money from. But when it comes to motorcycles, sales and motorcycle money, this is where the bread and butter is right now. Uh, it has been for the past few years, um, and it used to be the Street Glide. It is now the Road Glide. The Road Glide is the most popular Harley Davidson bagger out there right now. Um, it's, I, I, I love my 2021 Road Glide special. But anyways, um, the Sportster, man. Uh, I started my my YouTube thing here on the Sportster. That was the first bike that I bought myself was an Iron 883. It was late 2018 in September and I bought myself a 2019 Sportster 883. Absolutely loved it, learned a lot on that bike. Uh, a year later, traded up to a lowrider S. Um, a year later after that, I got myself this bad boy right here. Um, I still have my lowrider S, but this is what came out of the the A83, and I feel like I don't know, like that them taking away these bikes now. I think yes, the Nicester is here, but the Nicester is not the A83, the Nicester is not the Sportster 1200, it's just, it's just not, it's it's its own breed, it's its own thing, and not to bash the Nicester, because actually I like the bike, I like the design of it, and it has, it's very, it resembles the Sportster a lot, it's 
very very similar uh, when you look at it uh, but to the hardcore riders out there to the hardcore Harley Davidson guy and for the people who just want that classic Harley Davidson feel and sound the nicer just doesn't compare to the sports that we all know it's 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 a classic man it's uh you think Harley Davidson and yeah like you uh the Sportster comes to mind right away. These bikes, they, they've been around for a long time, since 1957. They've been around in races. Um, it, th that, that bike was born from Harley Davidson's racing team, and it's, the longevity and history that it has is, is, is so much, and I kinda wanna make a video on that, just its own separate video. Uh, given homage to the Sportster and what it's done to the riding community, um, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's sad, I don't know, it's, I guess, you know, it's, it's a little sad, it's like, hey, we're, we're breaking away from this bike that's been in, you know, in production for such a long time, and such rich history, and I'm just here looking at the picture, my, my poster of, of me on my 83, that's why I keep looking that way, and I just look at it, I'm like, yeah, it's a, it was a, such a nice bike, man, it's, you know, and though, you know, you may hear, oh, the Sportster is a girl bike, and, uh, sports there's a slow slow bike and it's it's not man it's it's just it's just people with low self-esteem who say stuff like that so beautiful bike uh yeah i, I, I think that's it just wanted to share that with you it sucks i want to hear your thoughts and your comments down below um but do you think a harley davis is making the right choice by doing this what do you think about all these submission standards cracking down on all these companies trying to electrify everything and trying to just minimize that beautiful noise and power train um and how do you think harley davidson will move on from this point on without the sportster in its lineup and uh do you like the nightster do you do you want do you want a nightster do you prefer a nightster over the sportster that you and i know that had been known for the past years decades that's it i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Nineteen fifty-seven, the Harley Davidson Sportster was introduced. It is now nineteen twenty-two. Well, nineteen twenty-two. It is now 